So what we need to do is actually smoothen this out, right? We want the image to influence the heights of the surface, but we don't want it to get all jagged and crazy like this. And that's why I have Photoshop open. So in Photoshop, what I'm going to do is go ahead to filter, go down to blur, and just blur this image using Gaussian blur. Okay, and when you open Gaussian blur, and you can use another software, of course, if you like. I just prefer Photoshop for this. If the blur is all the way low, notice nothing happens. And then as you move the slider to the right, the image starts to get more and more blurred, right? Now there's a limit that you want to reach. You probably don't want to go this far, but you don't want it to be this stark either, right? So you probably want it where it's just fuzzy enough where it starts to even out some of those details, right? Like right around here, around 10 pixels for me, it starts to smoothen this out. And you can try it at 10 pixels and see, and if it works out well for you, that's great. So here I'm going to go to Save As. So I don't want to override my file. I want to create another file. So I'm going to rename this uh, as Mars Site Blur. So it's another JPEG on my desktop. And go ahead and use that now for the height field. So let's go back to Rhino. 